side That's making me really nervous. Like, all the attention is going to be in us, like, walking down. And we're in the shade, so it's really nice. Um, because we still need to get through some shoes, and I need to get some stuff for me as well. So we're on our way to Harrods. It's a nice, lovely little walk. We'll bring you guys along. Oh, do you know what I want to do, True? What? I want to go to Tiffany and Co. and try on the uh, bone cuff. Do you remember I did at the beginning oh, of the year my luxury cuff, wish list? Yeah. But I want to get the silver one because I have an idea. Basically, the night before the engagement party, we're having a dinner, and I'm going to wear this dress, and it needs a cuff. So I'm okay. thinking of getting that, and that's like taking something off my wish list. Yeah. We'll have a look, we'll see. I, but I feel like it's very popular now, so it might be out of stock. Um, we'll have a look for the shoe for True, shoes for me, and maybe like accessories that we need. And then and that's outfit the... as well for me, for the night before. Oh yeah, and, and, post and the after party. after party. Oh, I need the after party dress as well. Oh, okay. Okay, so we both need, basically, because the outfits we're wearing, oh, True. Oh, you got a fly. There's a dead fly on my lip and it was still moving. Oh my god. Oh, that's gross. Um, oh, if you watch back, you can probably see the moment it lands on my lips. Oh, that's not so weird. Um, yeah, the outfits we're wearing are quite like heavy and it'll be nice to get changed into something more comfortable to do like all the dancing in. So we're going to do an outfit change, but we both need an outfit, which is very last minute because guys, today is Thursday and we're leaving on Monday because we're going to stay somewhere. Well, I mean, the weather is promising. Um, yeah, because on the nice. forecast it says it was going to rain where we're the, going, yeah on our day but as, as we get closer it's clearing up which I'm going nice. to check now yeah. I've been checking the weather because where we're, where we're having the party is two hours away from London so that obviously we can't rely on the weather in London because it's going to be different there but look, oh my god, true it's going to be sunny no rain because when I was checking it was saying rain and thunderstorm but as we're getting closer to the day it's saying it's going to be sunshine so I hope it stays that way but yeah we're really excited we're just doing the last minute planning and first trip of the day is Harrods and that's it oh we had the dinner today not, not dinner the lunch we had today was from HelloFresh which was so nice this isn't part of the ad um, but you guys know I worked with them I don't know if my discount code is still well, valid but we actually used I even true actually did an order and used my own discount code. Yeah. But the meals are so nice. Like that pasta dish was 10 out of 10 delicious. And it's yeah. like keeping me so full. So we're gonna keep using HelloFresh because I really love it. Like Yeah, this time I'm really I, I placed an order for five meals. Um so a meal for each working day. Yeah. Uh, and so far it's been really helping us. Honestly it is one of the best discoveries this year, I think. Yeah. Hey guys, we'll see you in Harris. Oh yeah, it's getting hot and sweaty now. <laughs> I don't think so, true. <laughs> don't really feel like that's my style. So we're at this restaurant that we always walk past and we've always said that we should visit so today on the way back home we decided to stop by what's the restaurant called ricardo's, ricardo's yeah 
I'm so excited to eat. It feels like it's very authentic Italian food. Yeah, very rusty. Yeah, and normally this bit is so packed. Like every time we walk past it, there's always so many people. So it looked quiet today. So we thought we'd come in and give it a go. I'm really excited and we're both very hungry. I picked up something from Skims in Harrod and then we also ordered True Shoes from Harvey Nichols, which should, well, should come tomorrow the day after. Yeah, it's going to come tomorrow the day after because we couldn't find any nice shoes. But then luckily in Harvey Nichols we found a pair that we liked. So we've ordered that and that's coming tomorrow. So successful day for True. But I still need to get so many things. So I think tomorrow, basically this whole vlog is going to be like an engagement prep vlog because I need to still get an outfit tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow actually we're going to Bond Street because True Tries on the Trials and Laura Piana, which you guys saw, and they had the white pair, which is the one that we saw on the mannequin um, in Bond Street. And I think that would be a really nice after party outfit. And then a pair of trousers that you can wear afterwards. And then I still need to get an after party dress. So tomorrow we'll go to Bond Street, maybe come to Selfridges and we'll have a look and see what there is. Yeah, that's the point. So we have the sourdough pizza, which is a vegetarian one, but we've added some anchovies. Then this is the linguine with prawns and mussels. And then some chicken meatballs, some protein. <laughs> dinner and then yesterday we basically in between we've just been running so many errands to do with the engagement party like all the last minute things and it's been so hard to vlog like I had all the intention to vlog but it's just when you're doing like lots of little bits it's just easier to just get it done and like not think about having to bring the camera along so yeah today is what's the date today Saturday Saturday so we have tomorrow Sunday and then Monday we're driving to the engagement venue also like this engagement party sounds like it's a basically like a mini wedding and it is basically <laughs> like a mini wedding and like, the venue is insane there's a lot of prep that we're doing for this right now i'm on my way to get my nails done i have never let my nails grown this long before but it was just because the timing of like copenhagen fashion week i couldn't didn't have time to do it before and then we got back from copenhagen fashion week and then I didn't want to get my nails done too early before the engagement party because then it would have been a bit outgrown by the engagement party. I just had to wait for the nails to grow out so I could do my nails closer to the engagement day. So that is today, finally getting them done. I feel so gross with like these long nails. Like it's just so overgrown, it just doesn't look very nice. Sorry guys, I'm just letting an ambulance off. This is, this street is always so hard to get through. Like if you're in a rush, you should never come down this street. What's the street? I'm um, like the Knightsbridge. Is this high street? What's the street called? It's not a high street. Coming. What's the street called? Brompton Road. Is this Brompton Road? Yeah, this is Brompton Road, right? This vlog is going to be very bits and bobs. <laughs> bits and bobsy. Bits and bobsy. I've been feeling nervous. Like last oh. night, I had to try not to think about it because I'm just. And I'm not someone, I don't think I'm someone with like social anxiety or feels nervous about these things. But I'm just thinking about everyone looking at us. That's making me feel really nervous. Like, all the attention is going to be in us like walking down and like, I'm really scared about that movement and that makes me feel nervous just look on the floor look, look on the floor then that's like look shy like <laughs> that's but that's like, like it keeps making me feel a bit like sick when I think about it I don't think it's that deep it's like but for me it is I don't know why if you're like, feeling this way just cancel the thing like oh. there's no point putting oh. yourself through that I know. You. Like, well, this is for us. Well, then like, I was just thinking that imagine the wedding, that's going to be on an even bigger scale. If anyone's been married or had to do something like this, like, how do you guys get through it? The, that feeling of like nervous, or did you even have that? No, I think if you invite friends and family that are. Yeah, just close people you know. Or comfortable with, then that's fine. Yeah, that's true. Also, I'm wearing this bag today. I haven't worn this bag in such a long time. This is the Chanel heart bag. Um, but my outfit today is very basic. I've just got my blue jeans and a black t-shirt, so I thought I could 
make this outfit a little bit more cute and fun with my heart Chanel bag. Okay, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm really excited about that. I'm just gonna get the same color. This is the nude that I get. This is the before. And then we can do the after. Hi guys, it's been a couple of days since I think the last footage that you saw. We have had our engagement party, which went so well. It was such a lovely day, celebrated with all of our family and friends. Everything went smoothly. I was nervous at the start of the day, but then literally as soon as I got done and I saw everyone, that all went away. Like me and True just had the best day ever. So now we're back home. We stayed at the most amazing um, manor house for the party because that's where the party was going to be now we're back there's some flowers in the background from the tablescape we did vlog a little bit ourselves i think like the days before and leading up and on the day maybe a little bit before getting ready but the rest of the footage will come from the videographers who shot for us and that content is going to be coming in a couple of months i think but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to send them an email to see, see if we can speed up that process if there's any way they could send us the content earlier because I want to share it with you guys like as soon as I know you guys are like a big part of this whole thing and yeah I'm really excited to share the content with you I haven't seen anything yet so I'm going to try and get the engagement vlog party up for you guys so you can see all of that but we're back home now and whilst we were away we had a really exciting delivery and that is our new mattress so me and True I think we've spoken about this in vlogs before we love our sleep so much and getting a good mattress is so important for us and we moved this flat and we had to use the mattress that was already here because the mattress that i had at home my sisters basically everyone just moved up a room because i had the biggest room in the house obviously excluding my mum's room and so my sisters all like upgraded their room so the sister that's a year younger than me moved into my bedroom and then all the sisters basically just got an upgrade on their rooms and she wouldn't let me take the mattress with me, which is the Emma Sleep mattress. I've worked with them before and has it been two years that we've had that mattress, the Emma Sleep mattress? Anyway, it is the best mattress ever. And like every time we'd go on holiday or we'd stay somewhere, True always compares the mattress there to Emma Sleep. He's like, oh, I miss my Emma. That's what he says. And then they recently reached out to say they'd love to work together and it couldn't have been better timing because True was literally complaining so much about like, he's a bit of a princess. <laughs> Um, complaining about how much he like wasn't enjoying the mattress, it hurts his back and to be honest I could actually tell the difference too. I haven't actually made any changes to the bedroom yet, we've just been doing things really slowly but I am going to be transforming our bedroom. Right now it's very basic, it still has the bed that was left in the flat which we want to replace with our own bed that fits more in with our aesthetic and style and I'm going to do a whole room transformation thing in another vlog later down the line so I'll bring you guys along for that but for me the main thing is the mattress because that's the one thing that when we go into the room that we're using is the bed so it's so important that we have something that will give us a good night's sleep okay let's unbox the box Okay, so this is the mattress set up on the current bed that we have. As I mentioned, we do plan on changing this bed because this is the bed that was left in the flat, but we're gonna bring in our own style. I just need to find the one we like and order that. We're also planning to get bedside tables. So we wanna get one on this side and one on that side. This is my side that I sleep on. And then True sleeps on that side next to the door. So if there was ever an intruder, he could attack them. <laughs> That's my thought process. Anyway, this is the current situation. So. We are going to transform the bedroom, which I can't wait to share with you guys in a future video. But what I'm most excited about is getting a good night's sleep. We've set the mattress up. This is the king size mattress. So if any of you guys are interested in the Emma Sleep mattress, I'm going to leave a link down below. You have a 200 night risk free trial, which means if you get the mattress and it doesn't really suit you, you don't really enjoy it, Emma Sleep will give you a refund and they'll take the mattress and they'll make it as hassle free as possible, which just goes to show how much they really believe in their mattress. And I am a huge fan of Emma Sleep personally. There's also currently a sale on Emma Sleep, they have discounts up to 55% off and using my discount code you can get extra money off so I'm going to put my discount code on screen which will get you additional discounts on top of the sale that is already happening so make sure to check out Emma Sleep. I'm going to go to Harrods now, I'll bring you guys along. Okay so this is a quick outfit of the day, so I'm wearing this sheer tie up top which is from Zara, 
I have these linen trousers on from Arquette. These are from Arquette. And then I'm just wearing my Adidas Sambas because I'm going to walk to Harrods. So I need to be comfy. And then I have my take a bag and then there's true he's gonna go for a run so we're gonna walk together to harrods and then he's gonna go for a run from harrods it's quite a nice day today so i can go out without like a cardigan or anything extra also just want to show you guys this flower arrangement this was one of the pieces that was on the table how pretty is this one of my friends andrea did the tablescape for me she did such a good job i'm just so excited to share all the pictures and stuff from the day i'm gonna head off now and go to harrods it'll be a nice little walk i'm trying to increase the amount of steps I do in the day because I realised because we work a lot from home I don't actually move my body a lot unless we're going to like Pilates or doing an intentional workout so one of my goals for the rest of the year is to move my body a bit more just like by going for a walk so normally what I do is just get a taxi to Harrods because it's super quick and I just go for my meeting time but I'm leaving a little bit earlier so that I can get my steps in go for a nice walk and yeah, so I'll bring you guys to Harrods because I'm going to see the new 90%. We have a new location in Harrods. 90% is a brand that I spoke about before where they make all their clothes really sustainably and 90% of their profits go back to like charity and supporting people, which is such a great initiative. I don't know any other brand that's doing that. So yeah, 90% of their profits go to charity. So it's a brand that I really like to try and support and also one of the co-founders is from Bangladesh which is where I'm from so yeah it's really nice so we're gonna go there I'll show you some new pieces that they have there and I might try on a couple of bits so yeah let's go to Harrow. guys we are well i'm currently on my way to go to the hairdressers i'm getting a haircut finally i was basically growing my hair out for the engagement party because i wanted to have like a sleek bun if i get it cut to the length that i wanted i won't be able to put it back in a bun so i was like, like leaving my hair the length that it was so that i could have the engagement party hair but now that that's over i can finally go back to my bob which i have missed so much i think i might go a bit shorter than the usual length i go for in the mood for a shorter hair um, and then while I'm gone True's gonna go to the Tesco you're going to yeah probably Tesco to do some shopping for food shopping because our fridge is empty and I have my friends coming over today for like a sleepover which is gonna be so much fun and True's gonna go to his parents house and spend some time with his family basically leaving the place free for me and my girls I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can of me getting my hair cut. I always go to Paul Edmonds, um, the one in Battersea, and I get my hair cut with Catherine. Makes you look like a lot younger. A little bit like Dora. Oh, I was giving Dora the explorer. <laughs> I love it. I always feel like a new woman every time I get my hair cut. The bob is back. The bob is back. I'm so happy. I feel so much like me with a bob. What do we think about this length? It's slightly shorter than what I go for. But I love it. I also wish I could do my hair like they do in the salons because they just do it so seamlessly. Like my hair looks silky smooth. And when I go home, I never can get the same look. But I guess that's why they're hairdressers and I'm not because they can obviously get that amazing maybe you need like an external hat yeah maybe i need to send you to training true so you can also <laughs> learn how to do editor and also hairdresser <laughs> he can do it all i bit my lip guys that's why i'm talking funny yeah he bit a big chunk of his lip while we we're eating our poke bowls and he opened it and it was just lots of blood i feel really bad can't talk <laughs> 
but he's trying to make it. <laughs> oh, I just put some refined lip gloss. I always keep one in the car. For when my lip gloss runs out, I can always just top it up with this. And it's very, it's just a clear gloss, but it gives my lips some moisture. just unpacked some of the shopping that True did. As I said before, my friends are coming, so I wanted to get like a mixture of snacks that we could have in case we got hungry or we were watching a movie. So I packed those away. And then, basically, today when I was about to go to the hairdressers, I was just picking the bag for my outfit. And then I was looking at my bag shelf and I realized how many bags I really don't wear and I wish I would wear more. And then it gave me an idea to do a section of this video to do like luxury handbags, that I wouldn't buy again or that I regret. And I think some of these might be surprising to you guys, but I'm gonna explain my reasons. I think it's quite good because I do buy a lot of luxury handbags and it's quite useful to know if you guys are thinking about buying a handbag, kind of have these points in mind. There's quite a few handbags here that I regret buying or I wouldn't repurchase if I was starting my handbag collection again. So let's start with, let's go with this one. The Birkin 35. Now the only reason that I have regrets for this bag is because of how much use I don't get from it and that is because this is a very heavy bag. Without anything in it, right now there's just a pillow to keep its shape. But when the bag is empty, it is very heavy to just hold. And then imagine filling up the bag, how much more heavy it gets. So I find myself only using it when I'm traveling to certain places so that I can sit on top of my little cabin so that I don't have to actually physically carry it. But if I had to actually carry this bag, I don't tend to use it. And if I do, then I have to kind of not fill it up too much, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a big bag because you would just assume that you could throw lots of things in and carry it. But I think it just puts me off using it because of how heavy and impractical it is. I think it is such a beautiful bag and I don't think I will ever sell this bag or get rid of it because it holds such special memories because this is the first bag I ever got offered from Hermes if you guys remember when I was in Paris and I think it is such a beautiful bag it's the Baronia Fabol Birkin 35 and it has the invisible stamp but for me personally I just don't find myself using it so I feel like it is kind of a waste it's just become a travel bag just because it is heavy so it's only when I'm in the mood or if I'm going to some a place where I know I'll be using the bag like for example going to Paris in the Eurostar I'd probably take this but yeah that is the regret because it is a very heavy bag so first one done next we have the fendi first now this is a beautiful bag and i love the way this bag looks and if you look at my instagram it does look like i've used this bag a bit but i actually i only use this bag for when i have shoots or i'm going to like a fashion show where i don't actually have to get in and out of the bag and my reason for this being on my like regret list is because there's two reasons i find the opening and like getting into this bag. Oh my God, I just found a top in here. Two tops. When we were packing from Fashion Week, True must have just put these tops in to hold the shape. The other day I was looking for this top and I was wondering where it was. <laughs> okay, there's some outfits in here. Right, I've just got three new tops now. Um, this bag was stuffed. Okay, so as I was saying, to open this bag, you press the button, you open it. And I find that because it's quite heavy, and these bits are pointy. I often hurt myself like going into the bag. If you're just opening it, like when it's under the shoulder and trying to access it, I've cut myself a couple of times putting my hands in and out of the bag. And I think it's just like a really heavy kind of material um, and it's got the sharp corners. So getting in the bag, sometimes you can hurt yourself and it just puts me a few in the bag. Another thing is that I think the, the leather is very delicate. I've only used this a handful of times and when I have used this, it hasn't been for me to actually use it as a bag. It's more like as a piece for the outfit. Like I said, I wear it for fashion week. So I'm only using it for a couple of hours. And already I can see there's like a scratch. There's like a mark here. 
where the leather's peeled off. I think the leather is just very delicate. I can also see there's some creasing that's happening here, which I've heard is a problem with a lot of people and it just doesn't look very nice. And I think for a bag that hasn't been used that much, that shouldn't really happen. And I don't really like to bathe in my bags. And there are so many bags that I have that I just use so much and I don't have any issues like that. So I think this leather is just very soft, it's very delicate, and this is just too chunky and a little bit of a hazard for me. Next up, we have the Loewe Puzzle in the blue. This is actually my first Loewe Puzzle bag, and I love the puzzle bags, but I think, for me, it's the color of this. I just don't find myself grabbing this at all. I'm really struggling to style this, and it's funny because I remember this was in one of my wishlist videos, and I was talking about how I think this would just go with a lot of things and like it could go with dark outfits but then when I have a dark outfit on if I'm wearing an all black outfit I just have this I don't know I feel like it just pops too much I don't have many things in my wardrobe in this blue color and I found that the bags that I get most use out of are the bags that I have like outfits of similar colors to I can always style up an outfit and then match it to a bag like just different elements to it and I think that is what's making me not use this bag it's like the specific shade of blue it's such a stunning bag so beautiful but it really hasn't been used i think i've worn it once or twice so it does feel like a bit of waste to me and i kind of wish i did get this in a neutral color i think one of the reasons that i did get this color was because i was trying to get out of the neutral bags but one thing i've realized is that as much as i love color i do get the most use out of neutral bags so yeah this is a regret i am going to see if i can style it maybe like in the next couple of months coming to autumn and if I can't I think I will have to sell it because I just feel so sad seeing it on my shelf it's such a beautiful bag but it just doesn't get used at all and then I'm gonna do this one because this is basically the same reason as the Loewe so this is a bag that I got from Paris the Rue Cambon store I did a Paris haul and this was an impulse purchase I actually hadn't seen this bag before my essay brought the bag out and I was like yes I'll take it I was wearing this black coat with a black scarf which had a hint of red and so when I put this bag on it just really worked well with the outfit and then since taking it home I've actually never worn this bag and when I put outfits on I grab it to try and style but it just doesn't go with my outfits there's a couple of reasons one is the color red I don't own many red things in my wardrobe and like I said with the Loewe blue bag I think if I don't have a, that color in my wardrobe I won't use the bag as much I also think the strap because you can only wear it cross body or on your shoulder like that it's a bit of an awkward length i don't really wear many of my bags cross body or i don't wear the bag on my shoulder when it's a long strap i love a shoulder bag like the Bottega one or the mimi one um, but when it's really long i don't know it just doesn't suit my style and i think again this is one that i want to sell because the tissue paper is still in there because it's just never been used it is a beautiful bag and i love the way it has this vintage look but i think it's just sitting there looking sad because I'm not using it and I feel really bad because I obviously fell in love with it when I saw it at the store and I w wanted to get it but it only matched that one outfit that I wore and yeah it's just not I don't think it's a reason enough to keep this bag and then the last one this is actually I didn't buy this this was a gift from True and I'll never sell it for that reason because it is very sentimental and it is such a beautiful bag and again this is a bag that maybe some people were surprised with because I have used this bag a lot my only issue with this bag is, again, similar to the Fendi bag, I only use this bag when I'm shooting content or for a fashion show, and that's because the bag closure is just like this. So it's like a hook, and you just do that. And it has, it doesn't have a zip inside, it doesn't have any kind of thing, so your things just fall out. Like, if you have anything in this bag, oh look, I have some sunglasses. That wasn't a good example because usually that would have fell out. I remember when I first wore this bag, I was sitting in the car and I had it on my lap and I had a lip gloss in there and one of my cards and I think True broke the car. Like he pressed, broke the car. True pressed a break on the car. It wasn't even a harsh break and the things had fallen out of the bag and I'd taken it out a couple of times and I just noticed whenever I had lay, had it laying flat, things would fall out of the bag. It just feels like a risk when I'm wearing it because I know that if I actually put anything in there, it may not be in there by the end of the day. So again, it's just a bag I use for content. I don't actually put things in. So if you are thinking about getting this bag, I would really consider that because it's not very practical. I think there is one thing you can do though, is I've seen people um, do this for other bags. You can get a dust bag that has a drawstring closure and then you can basically put all your things into that dust bag and then close it up and then close it. So then if the bag tips, 
the dust bag isn't going to be able to fall out because you have this strap covering it. So I think that could be an alternative option. It's a bit annoying that you have to do that. I just wish there was maybe like an, a zip that went across that would stop things from falling out. But yeah, so those are the bags that I regret buying. The, those are the bags that when I'm getting ready, I'm in my wardrobe and I look at, I just feel a bit of sadness in my heart that they don't get used as much as I would have loved them to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. It's a bit random, but I also feel like it's nice to share because I always share hauls and show you what I've got new in, but I thought it would be good to give like a mini review of some things that I've bought. Let me know if you'd like to see another segment, maybe in a future vlog of me talking about the bags that I absolutely love, would recommend and would buy again. One of them being my Bottega Jody, the small black one. I have worn that bag so much. It's the best bag ever. If you need to get a bag right now, it's the Bottega small Jody in any color. You will get so much use out of it. Anyway, I am going to prep now with my friends. I need to just change the bed sheets of my bed and just sort some washing out. And then they're coming in a couple of hours. And then we're going to go to this Italian place called La Mia Mama. I'm really excited to go and have some pasta in Italian with my friends.